First up, though, a storm front packing winds up to 100 k's an hour is beginning to pummel the south of our state. Rachel Carey is in Mandurah braving the conditions for us this morning. Rach, what's the latest advice for locals in the region? Well, it is certainly windy here in Mandra, and just as we're going to air, I'm starting to feel the first drops of rain. Now, this cold front that we are expecting here in Mandra has already hit uh, further down in the southwest between Augusta and Bustleton. We should expect uh, the brunt of the cold front to hit Mandra shortly. Now, the latest weather advice from the uh, from the Weather Bureau is to still expect wind gusts of up to 100 k's an hour in this region. So those winds could be potentially uh, damaging to properties and homes. So please take the usual precautions with this kind of weather. Try to stay indoors and also report any signs of damage. We're told that conditions will ease this afternoon. Now while there isn't a severe weather warning in Perth, we can still possibly expect a gusty thunderstorm in Perth today. So a stark contrast to yesterday, Tim. Yeah, massive. Thank you, Rach. For the very latest now, where that front is tracking, Neil Bennett from the Bureau joins us. Good morning to you, Neil. Yesterday you were out talking about record September heat. What's happened? Yes, Tim. Uh, well, as, as we just heard, cold front uh, moving up. See it quite clearly on the satellite imagery here. The front edge of that expected to the Perth area around about 10 o'clock, but it's the air in behind it that's really going to drive the drop in temperatures. So lots of cloud around at the moment and has been very warm overnight. Um, so we'll probably see our maximum uh, around about 10 or 11 o'clock this morning. And then temperatures, uh, temperatures will slowly drop, so just 22. So quite a sharp contrast to the temperatures that we had yesterday. Yeah, massive. I think I prefer yesterday's conditions just quietly. Not much we can do about that, though. The southwest of WA, uh, where in particular is going to cop it hardest? And what sort of a day have they got ahead of them? Well, really, we're looking for a line from sort of Mandurah all the way down through to the uh, Bremer Bay area. And uh, there is a possibility of some squally winds mixed in with some thunderstorm activity. So potentially some gusts to 100 kilometres an hour, as we've heard. There is going to be an easing trend, but then we've got quite a complex system coming up behind it. So for two or three days now, 